Hugging a crescent-shaped bay 20 minutes east of Porto Plata, Sasua Beach is a two kilometer beautiful stretch of golden sand contrasting against deep blue turquoise waters and set against a mountain backdrop. Back in 1903, Sasua Bay was a shipping dock for a large-scale fruit plantation operation by the United Fruit Company, which later closed in 1916. The beach by then had a hotel called Garden City, several barracks and about 20 houses and facilities which was left from the fruit company's past operations. During the 1920s, several families from Santiago used the homes as vacation getaways when visiting the beach. It wasn't until about 1939 that the land was sold by Trujillo to the Jewish settlers that fled from Europe to avoid Hitler's concentration camps. The Jewish settlers helped build Sasua into a prosperous little town. The North Coast is actually where beach tourism began in the Dominican Republic. And since the 1980s, Sasua Beach has evolved into an attractive destination and becoming one of the top choices for vacationers in the DR and the Caribbean. What makes Playa Sosua so unique and desirable is its crystal clear waters which remain calm most of the time and it's also got shallow areas that are great for kids and non-swimmers. A row of mature green trees offer natural shade all the way down the beach to its visitors. And Sosua Beach is also known for its lively stretch of dozens of small beach restaurants and bars who offer local and international cuisine. And the keen salesman can even bring the menu straight out to your sunbed by the water's edge, or conveniently arrange a table with food or bring some cold drinks, beers or pina coladas out there. Additionally, most restaurants offer free Wi-Fi so you won't miss an email and you can always send an instant picture back to your friends or family. In between beach restaurants, one can see numerous souvenir and art shops 
presenting local art, paintings, jewellery, pieces of woodwork and other crafts. So taking the beach walkway can be quite fascinating and enjoyable. Also, anything you won't find at the beach doors, you'll be very likely to obtain from the beach vendors who constantly cruise the beach offering anything from fresh fruits, cigars, oysters and sweets to massages, manicure or braiding of your hair. Sasua Beach is also one of the favourite locations for divers and snorkelers as it's got easy access to a wide array of dive sites and coral reefs near the shore. The crystal clear waters of the bay provide excellent visibility for such water activities. On weekends and holidays, the beach can get overcrowded with hundreds of locals and visitors from other parts of the country. They come here to enjoy Sasua's stunning waters and sunsets. So if you prefer a much quieter time, then maybe visit during the week instead. Luckily there's enough room for everyone as the eastern side of the beach suddenly received a natural extension delivered by the 2017 hurricane when the ocean brought a new mass of sand ashore. Furthermore, Playa Sasua is a place where you can enjoy game fishing, sunset yachting, catamaraning,
pedal boarding. Crystal clear kayaking. Banana boats. And glass bottom boats. So welcome to Sasua Beach. Dear viewer, I just want to give you a quick update on a positive improvement to my channel. During future video releases, to make it easier for you to tell exactly what type of video you've actually received from Educated Traveller, then you will now find one of three different symbols seen on the actual video thumbnail. So if you see a number in the top right hand corner, then it indicates it's another full length travel documentary. And if you instead notice an illustration of a camera, then it's usually a short video from my playlist called Interesting Moments Caught on Camera. And finally, if you see this rifle thumbnail that says wake up and retaliate, then you'll know it's a video on a world topic where I either myself or by me interviewing sharp expats or travelers on camera will cover highly important topics that can help you improve your life and other people's lives. All right, folks, that wraps it up for this time. Thanks for watching. And if you're down here and you bump into me, please, if you felt you got a lot of value out of the videos, make a financial donation to help keep this channel growing. Thank you so much. Take care and happy travels.